okay so now let's talk about uh, the basic phenomena of this quorum sensing process in different bacteria so normally quorum sensing are divided into two parts uh, as we know this quorum sensing the whole thing is developed in, uh, in less than 10 uh, years ago so so there are not many uh, way of research but whatever research is going on uh, I just uh, sort out some of those examples so what we know about the quorum sensing nowadays in, in case of gram negative bacteria we can see the if, if it is a cell it's a bacterial cell and this is the outer portion of the bacterial cell so we can say there are different proteins are present in the internal cell so protein called lux1 so this lux1 so you, you keep on remembering the name lux because you need to we, uh, you need to hear this name uh, for many times throughout this lecture so the lux one lux i so not one it's lux i g uh, protein the uh, lux i gene it produces a protein so lux i gene produces a protein a protein which is called ahl uh, a, a, the name of it is as uh, acyl homoserin uh, lactone okay so acyl homoserin lactone is a kind of protein which is generated by lux uh, which is coded by lux i gene and this protein is the auto inducing molecule as, as we are look, looking at so this is the inducing molecule this is the this is the inducing molecule which is produced and this inducing molecule have to be entered into the cell and finally it will activate a certain region of the cell which will activates uh, the cell to develop something that finally helps the cell to grow so in this case this uh, if there are a sufficient amount of bacterial cells in the outside uh, outside and they will generate all they will also generate this kind of uh, mm, HAHL molecule and finally this molecule will enter the cell and, and it, it activates a molecule called lux r it's a protein lux r so this protein is a regulatory part in this case normally the protein has different subunits the proteins structure uh, the dna binding site of the protein lux r is placed on the inside of this whenever the AHL molecule bind with this protein the protein is activated and it mm, it does so by the conformational change and this DNA binding site comes outside of this protein and finally the, the DNA binding site is open uh, to bind with the DNA molecule and it bind with the G DNA and the gene uh, XYZ whatever it is is transcribed and that's how uh, the, the luminescence, mol luminescence is generated by the bacteria so this is the normal basic pathway of gram-negative bacteria how uh, they generate this thing and how it, the control is placed on so if we notice uh, in case of gram-positive bacteria the mechanism is, is uh, the basic idea is behind the same so we need to have a sufficient amount of the signaling or inducer molecules outside the cell to, to generate a response from the cell so if they are uh, if they are the amount of uh, the concentration of inducer are greater in the outside then uh, this molecule finally enters into a channel protein here it is called the sensor kinase as the name suggests kinase means it attaches phosphate group to other proteins in this case it attaches phosphate group to the response regulator and this regulator protein finally bind with dna and transcribes the gene for the purpose okay so this is the basic difference between the gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. The basic difference is uh, the mode of action. In this case, the action is mediated by the protein direct attachment of the those AHL protein with uh, the lux R. But in this case, this is not a direct attachment. It is via a phosphorylation event. So that's the basic difference. But the main idea is the same. Uh, all this kind of response can only be generated if there are sufficient amount of inducing molecules outside. And when we have the sufficient mole amount of mole inducing molecules outside, the only way of having the sufficient mo uh, inducing molecules outside is to have a higher cell density. So all this quorum sensing techniques can only be derived when there are lots of uh, cells present in a suspension not a few so quorum sensing event always means a colony of cells not a single cell 